Yeah, it's a bear hunt I did back in 2010. You guys might like to see it. Something besides cooking. Mind you, we'd only been on a stand about maybe five minutes. A rope. We had a bird feeder covered in peanut butter that a grizzly had taken down for some time throughout the night. That black bear can smell the grizzly. He's being skittish trying to come in. This is a couple days after Memorial Day weekend, 2010. It was up there in God's country in Kenai Peninsula. Here's where I thought I was going to lose him. I thought the grizzly bear sent. I thought it scared him away. But the oats and molasses, they did the trick. Yeah, excuse my camera guy. He was more excited about the bear than I was, I think. Because mind you, that bait is just under 19 yards from where we were at. I think that's why that brown bear took that bird feeder down. He didn't like the fact we said no brown bears allowed. And yes, that's a full-size keg, just so you guys know. It's where we got weird. There's no wind, we hadn't made a noise. And he just starts looking up at us. Hey, look at that coat. Now, I had the shooting stick set up there on the left-hand side, as you can see, but I don't end up getting to use it. Yes, I'm using a 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Right here, he's about 18, maybe 19 feet. He ain't very far. He doesn't go far. I missed his spine by about a half an inch. But blew his heart up, blew his lungs out. He was right over the other side of that deadfall. That adrenaline rush, though, is something that's uncomparable.
20 minute 